Good morning, YouTube, and thank you for heeding the Twilight's call. Welcome back to the channel. Today, since we have a new set out with the Streets of New Capenna, I thought we would do a little bit of the new sealed event that's out. This is only out for about two to three weeks after a set release, so it's time limited. It uh, can only be entered by gems, but I thought we'd have us a little bit of fun and get some new cards out of it while we're at it. So let's open our packs and see what we get. We have for our rares, a Topiary Stomper for one green green, plant dinosaur with Vigilance 4-4. Four, four. Enters the battlefield, you get a land on the battlefield tap, but it can't attack or block unless you control seven or more lands. Not the best card in the world. We got an Urbrask Heretic Praetor, uh, three red red, 4-4 four, four, Phyrexian Praetor with haste. You can exile your top card at the beginning of your upkeep to play it. So you get basically get two draws for the most part, and then you limit your opponent's draw down to one, uh, exiling it and playing the card right away, or they lose it. Pretty good card. You got Riveteer's Ascendancy for uh, black, red, green. You get an enchantment that says whenever you sacrifice a creature, you may return target creature with lesser mana value from your graveyard to the battlefield tap, but you can only do that once per turn. Uh, decent card if you have the other cards to set it up. Uh, we have a Zia Torres Envoy, which is nice. It looks like we might be on Riveteers with the two or three of the rares we got. It's for a colorless black, red, green. Vyashina Warrior 5 4 with Trample. And it has, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, look at the top card of your library. You may play a land from the top of your library or cast a spell with mana value less than or equal to the damage dealt from the top of your library without paying its mana cost if you don't such as you can't afford to, uh, to cast it because it was it's more than what you dealt damage you put it in your hand and then it has blitz for two black red green which means it has haste when it comes in you sack it at the end of turn and then you draw a card or if it dies in combat you'll draw a card as well uh, we have an undercover operative for two blue blue a zero zero shapeshifter rogue that enters the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield except for it has a shield counter on it if you control the creature you're copying and then the last card is hostile takeover a two blue red black sorcery that says up to one target creature has base power and toughness until one of one one until end of turn and then another one has base power and toughness four four until end of turn and then it deals three damage to each creature which means you just basically turn one of your opponent's creatures into a 1-1 one, one, no matter how big it is and turn one of your guys into a 4-4 four, four, no matter how big it is and then you guarantee that that other creature is going to die unless they have indestructible. Pretty decent card. Uh, let's see what else we got. I'm Like I said, I'm thinking Riveteers because right now we got four good rares in that color spectrum right now. Um, two straight up Riveteer colors and then two supporting colors that are monocolored. So let's see what we got in the rest of the pool. So what I like to do when I'm looking at this stuff is I zoom out. I already know that blue or white and blue are probably just not happening and it doesn't look like it with this pile that's here right now. So what I like to do is turn on each individual color and then I shut off the ones I know I'm not going to be looking at so they go away. And then we can kind of look and see what else we got going on here. So we got... We got a Cutthroat Contender. That's pretty good for the lower end of the curve. This is pretty good because you can deal through... It's a removal spell. So when your stuff gets outclassed, then you can sacrifice it and throw it in there. The dig of the body is decent to go get things out of the graveyard. This card is meh. Midnight Assassins are pretty good. Demon's Dew is okay. Join the Meisters is okay. Some decent black. Uh, light them up. Decent removal if you got some fodder creatures to throw away. Man Patrol. It's not bad. Not great either, but you know it is what it is. Pirate Sledge Arsonist, I like this card. I, I want to build a combo deck around this. Um, and we will eventually. Good limited removal. And then Urbrask we saw. Torch Breath is good removal as well. Cabaretti Initiates, okay. That one's all right. Jewel Faith is really good. Topiary Stomper. 
Eh, he's a whatever. That one's actually pretty good too for a limited card. We have a stimulus package in there. That's decent. Uh, do, 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 do. We did not get any of the other Riveteers commons or uncommons, though. But we did get quite a bit of Cabaretti stuff. Alright, let's throw this together and see what we got. We got a Black Red Land. That'll work. Stimulus package will work. Zia Torres Envoy, River Tears, Cleanup Crew. Oh, that's not awful. Fuel Feast is really good. Initiate's good. This can be an okay. Um, combat trick it just depends. Let's see, Torch Breath, Urbrask. Do the light em ups, which might combo with that. Same for Join the Maestros. Assassin, Cutthroat, Sigil. curve look like it's all over the place five three five two three uh, yikes all right um well not a hundred percent certain what to do at this juncture We do need a few more two drops to kind of balance this out, but some of these two drops are just meh. I kind of like her to help ramp into some bigger stuff. I like him, too, for ramping into the bigger stuff at the top of the curve. And we are going to have treasures to play with later. So Actually, I think I'm going to splash Rocco Cabaretti into the deck. So, yes, this deck is going to be four colors, just barely. Me. Not worth splashing blue for. I'm just looking to see if these other Cabaretti cards are worth my time. Um... Two drops are kind of all over the place. I'm not making people discard crap. That's not worth my effort. I think I'm gonna do dig up the body because I have other I have other casualty cards in the deck, and things are going to die in combat. And I'm gonna want to get something back. So. Let's go with this. I think that's pretty good, and I want to do... Oh, let's see. Let's pick a sleeve. Oh, we'll, we'll throw that one on there. Why not? And then Avatar, let's do... Do, 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 do. What do we do here? Well, since the deck's mostly red green, let's do Helena and Elena. And let's switch the pet over to Fire Kitty just for the heck of it. Uh, 
All right, let's give this a whirl. If you're good enough at it, you can chain these events to the point where you're able to just keep doing them over and over. I was actually able to do that with the Crimson Vow sealed event. Didn't do so hot with uh, Kamigawa, though. That was a bad time. I actually had to buy my Mastery Pass this last month because I didn't earn enough gems to get it for free. Mm, we'll give it a try and see if I can get a green in between hand. It's kind of dicey, but. Sorcery, okay. Ugh. The gamble didn't really pay, though. At least I have a three drop. Unfortunately, those trade, but I can do this. All right, might have to look at my mana base and figure out if I got not enough green in it after this game. About to get nailed by a destroy target attacking creature. Was it kill shot? Really, game? I don't like winning like this. Especially in sealed event, because these events cost actual money if you ha can't win the gems through other events. I also hate losing this way if something happens. For the exact same reason. I hate that. That sucks. Of course, now I have no black mana in my opening hand, but, yeah, why not? The rest of it's pretty good. Sorcery speed, okay. Good to know. Oh, this three color shenanigans are really getting old. Come on, black mana. Get out of my way. Take it out now before they can sacrifice it for mana. Second verse, same as the first. Capretti Initiate is going to have to go all the way the way I'm drawing lands. Not right now. Ugh, I don't want to trade those. Or do I? I have a dick of the body. Or I could play Zia Torres Envoy, sit back. Yeah. Oh wait.
Because unless he has one of the five drop red damage spells. Oh. Ouch. That really hurt. Oof. Oh, let's see. What can I go get with Rago? I can get a three drop with the mana that's currently here. Or I just create my own wall. Hmm. Put on the guy that can double strike. We'll leave the treasure there for the white mana for Rocco. Whoa. Okay. That's a thing. Um... Four or more creatures. Is there a way for me to get that on the board? Not this turn. Let's go ahead. No, because in the shield counter, it'll destroy my Cavaretti Initiate, so I can't do that. Let's do Rocco for two. Oh, wow. All my two drops are out. What? I don't have any two drop creatures. Oops. That was an oops. I didn't realize that. All my two drops must be removal and other spells. I didn't pay attention to that. He's holding back now. There's a light him up. That might do me some good. Let's see here. Got some options here depending on how they block. And if he doesn't block, he gets to die. Okay. All right, let's do it this way. Let's activate this. Let's pump here. And let's do light them up. Or no, that's sorcery speed. Never mind. Fine. I messed that up, but it's all right. I got them both. I'll live with it. I have a dig up the body. What do we do with this? Okay. 
this one closer. He's outmoded as crap right now. But I can only kill one creature. I guess him. Let's get initiate. And Clano Crew works for me. <laughs> uh oh. He got to his bomb first. Swing some life back my way. Sorry, Cabaret Initiate. Under the bus with you. Does this hit Planeswalkers? Yes, it does. Oh, these double greens are going to kill me. I can't afford her to neg seven next turn or I, I will lose. It's just straight up. I have to check the mana base. The green is really messing with me now. Oh boy, so we got First Strike, Vigilance, and Lifelink. Well, I'll take the damage. I'm probably dead at this point. Yep. We'll play this for the quests and concede. All right, we rebalanced the deck. I changed the mana around. I also took Rocco Cabaretti out. It's just too much dilution of the mana base to add that fourth splash color. And it didn't. I don't have enough targets for him anyways until you get to the higher levels. Um, so I took him out and just put in a two-drop creature to kind of balance everything back out because I realized I don't have any two-drop creatures. Huh. I got two bombs in my hand. I'm, I almost can't send that back. Well, if I can get another green, that'd be really nice. Because then I can search for the red. Oh, well that, that works too. Enters the battlefield. It creates a two. Basically, it's, it uh, creates a two two, and then you can sack it to destroy an artifact or enchantment. Okay. Um, he's playing black. <laughs> what are the odds this doesn't get just destroyed? Oh, 
Make the outlook is not great. Eh, uh, yeah. Should have called that. Well, I guess Topiary Stomper, go get a red so I can play Urbrask. Kill this dumb thing. Hey, if I draw a land, I can attack with Topiary Stomper. <laughs> Yes, this is going to start messing your draws up. Please, no white mana. <laughs> he must not have had the white mana to cast that spell. Very good. Holy crap, for the first time in, what, four games? This has actually got a color of each mana in the pool. I'll keep it. I even have a one drop to go with it. It's like, what is this, my birthday? Nope, not for another eight months. I wish I would have got some of those lands in my pool. I didn't get any. All right. I'll go ahead and push up. Oh, that is going to get nailed by light them up. Real quick. Sorry, Topiary Stomper. That's got to die. No growing angels for you. Uh, let's see if he blocks. Uh, view battlefield. Let's get another red. The black is mostly a splash, and I have one. That way, if I draw Urbrask, I have the ability to cast it later. I think we're color set for now. Now we just got to draw the stuff. May cast that next turn and just get rid of the cutthroat contender. He's kind of outlived his usefulness. Okay. 
You know, now that I think about it, I may be wrong that I don't have any of those lands in my pool. I turned on colors, but I don't know if I turned on colorless. That's fine. I'll have to check. Um, let's go ahead and do this before I smash him. Rawr. Not great for standard or anything else, but pretty good limited card. I'm going to use your parcel to kill one of my four power creatures. I'm really hoping, really hoping for the land. Five color green. Okay. Ballsy. I'm going to do this for four. I want to make sure it dies in case he has a pump spell. There's a murder. Yeah, let's go ahead and play Mayhem Patrol. I could have blitzed that out for another two damage, but then he probably would have just killed the thing. Hmm. Treasures don't do me any good right now. Is this another creature? No, target. Okay. Right, we'll put it here. This guarantees six damage gets through. So this game has been kind of, I mean, we've been color fixed pretty good, but it's been a slow game because my opponent has done nothing but color fix for the most part. I think that's the, the downside of the, trying to play five color green in this format is you spend so much time and effort getting your mana so you can actually do anything that it's like, okay. So what are your thoughts? Kill the... Mayhem Patrol. I'm going to go ahead and make tokens. Because he can easily just blow up the Mayhem Patrol and then kill or block the 4 3. I want to try to make sure this damage gets through. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought he would kill that. And then I just swing out and kill. Because even if he's got a one pa a one damage spell or something in his hand to kill one of them, and he blocks the four three, one gets through, he dies. Good game.
We got all three colors again. My birthday must have came early. And I get River Tears Ascendancy. Wow. Beans and Mormons. Pretty good card. Let's see here. Might play that just to get another treasure token out of it. Okay. Go ahead and topiary stomper, get a red in case of Urabrask. No attacks. That'd give me two treasures. I think I'd rather have this. Um, make it bigger on its own and give me some more beef. Okay. Someone has all the removal in the world. No attacks. Let's do stimulus package. Let's do Ripper Cheers Ascendancy. Doesn't fire anything, does it? Right, we gotta light him up. This is good. <sighs> See how he blocks. Didn't all right. How does this work? Lesser mana values. I can't get anything unless it's free if I do that. I don't know. Cancel. I don't want. I forgot it's for two. That can die.
Five, six, you say. Plus two, plus two. What do we get? Treasure or a citizen? I don't think I need the treasure. I'll take the citizen. sandbag it and make him think I got something. There's power in making them think you have things. Bye, little citizen. That's going to be a pain. Oh, oops. <laughs> I think he forgot about that. Destroy artifact, destroy enchantment, exile from a graveyard, gain four life. Um. Yeah, I think I'm just going to get rid of those stupid boots because they annoy the heck out of me. Poor life's nice, but... Tap doesn't untap, okay. I'm sure my topiary stomper or my command crew is getting tapped. Okay. I think we've hit stalemate until somebody gets a bomb. Which sucks. I hate when games stall out. That could be useful. Now I need a casualty card. He's going to keep tapping my cleanup crew. You suck. At sacrifices at end of turn. So I can sacrifice up to three things this turn, which means I could theoretically shoot down one of his flyers if need be. I'm going to blitz this because I want the card off of it.
Right, give me card. Give me good guard. Ooh. It's casualty. Uh, and I can get things back, too. Um, what do I do with this? Dig up the body. I gotta think about how to do this. Because it takes, what, a colorless? So... Let's dig up the body. Casualty one. Let's sacrifice the... What do I want? The cleanup crew? So I can get it back? No, I better not. Let's get the Mayhem Patrol back. And the cutthroats. All right, let's go ahead and let's make citizens. Well, and Fire this off. I want to kill one of those guys. Slow down the air race. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll end the turn for right now because I'd rather blitz out the mayhem patrol again. Oh boy. Get my biggest, beefiest boy, and it's just getting in control left, right, center, and in between. Alright, so. Let's that out, and I'll just let it go to end of turn. I'll put a stop at the end of the turn. Got options. We go whiter than he's got stuff, but we gotta get rid of this flyer too. I'm on, I'm on a two turn clock. Let's go ahead and dunk a jewel thief. That'll give me a treasure, which is sackable. Um, let's do... Because I can take out a two drop if I do this. Let's go casualty two on the magician. Nice. Take action. First time I've actually been able to do that. Let's go ahead and stimmy pack this. And let's get rid of that. Or try to get rid of that, I should say. Because he's been pitching nothing but lands. And maybe I should have went face. I don't know. 
I'm just trying to think here. The combat math. The next turn. What he's going to end up taking. If everything swings, he's going to block. One, two... No. Uh oh. Well, somebody done got their answer. Ow. GG. Dang. I was hoping to go wide enough and kill him the next turn, but it didn't happen. Yeah, that's doable. Go, oh, my little one two double striker. Um, it's like, do I dare let this sit on the board? <laughs> oh, God, this makes me not happy. You know what? I'm going to do stimulus package. And go. I'm going to see if I can get down the cleanup crew. And see if it can draw some kind of removal spell off of them. Because the, the two times I've played Zia Torres Envoy, it's been exiled. Artifact instant or sorcery. Well, darn it, you got my good guard. Take that. Um, be gone. He's got a bounce spell or a removal spell. Joy. Or does he have... Oh, no, it's that. That's what's holding the priority. Whoa. That's dangerous. See how he blocks here. That 
That's it. Janked. I'm never going to get to play that card. That is lame. So the control of thon is just making all my big fat beef no good. Well, on the upswing, oh, no, what? Oh, the creature has the ability, not the enchantment. Oh, no. You could bite me. Oh, I need some way to give him trample. I don't have anything, I don't think. I think I am so screwed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this isn't panning out the way I'd hoped, but you know what? Whatever. Not gonna give up yet. But we're on a two turn clock. Yeah, Halo Fountain's a little messed up. Hmm. Why not? Doesn't do me any good, but whatever. Guess bring the envoy back. Whatever. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to blitz him. Because, you know what? I'm dead anyways. So, don't care. <laughs> oh my god. Never going to get to play with that creature. <laughs> oh god.
All right, back for the wrap after the games. Uh, went three and three, which is, you know, average. Nothing special. The deck played all right. Um, I was hoping for better, but, you know, it happens. I got control. Basically, two of the three losses, I got controlled to death by uh, white, blue, whatever. But, you know, I had a lot of fun with the deck. I I think it gives me some ideas for some stuff. You know, if this card actually would ever live, it's a really strong card. Uh, it's just there's too much removal in this limited environment that it just gets blown out of its boots before you ever get to do anything. So I'm kind of curious how it'll do in Standard and maybe even uh, an Explorer. So we'll see. I might give it a try. Uh, I was more impressed with this than I thought I was going to be, at least for a limited format. I thought it was going to be just absolute garbage because you have to wait until you have seven lands. So turn seven before you can actually do anything with it. But it actually turned into a pretty good attacker and it was the reason I won a couple of the games. So all in all, not bad. If you got enough sacrifice stuff, this card is amazing. Um, I'm definitely going to try to build something around him. And the nice part is he's uncommon. And then Urbrask, the one time I got him, just made somebody scoop. So that was fun. Never got to really do much with him. Cleanup crew, you know, it's a great, you know, big, beefy thing. But without some way of giving it trample, this thing is just, you know, it just trips over a speed bump 1-1. One, one, and that, as you saw in that last game, he just <laughs> didn't do me much good because he just got, you know, either controlled to death or he was just set up for failure by just tripping over 1-1 one, one citizens all over the place. So, not overly impressed. But, like I said, had fun. And if you guys like what's been going on, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.